Uh, thank you for all of your audience to attend this session. Then this is about uh, Chinese security. Actually, I come from Hong Kong. Would like to uh, share my personal experience on the kinds of censorship to have kinds of East Miss West seminar and talk and much more sharing. Um, censorship is not just for China, but many countries or many nations have censorship. So that's reason we like to trigger the research and trigger our our ideas how to protect our privacy. Um, for me, then I will go to I will talk about censorship overview, the tour and bridges from Jacob and the Green Dam and Green Dampers from John. Uh, okay, there's no national secret. Okay, no, is any spies, any China spy, Chinese spy, Taiwan spy, no worries. All things from the internet <laughs> search. <laughs> I've got my objective right now, right? Be relaxed, okay. Encourage technical research and technologies in privacy protection and how we do the um, work out the censorship and share my personal experience with you guys. Okay, let's start. Um, I work on penetration test, um, like a co audit and a training, and do the merit analysis. If some of guys, some of you, then attend my Brad Hat um, session about China made my rare, then it will be, hope you like it. And also, I set up my research group, my maybe study to exploit, analyze malware. Yeah. And this is what I've done censorship. Um, this is, uh, I will go through this list in 15 minutes. Then, in around 50 slides, then you will, you will find it very, have a rhythm. Okay? <laughs> IP blocking. Um, actually, IP blocking is very, I mean, it's very easy one. It's a white listing. Uh, Brad listing, uh, Brad listing, not Brock listing, right? <laughs> and you will find it in 202. And when you go to Google, then you will find it to the maze. You will find the excessively color of the. Oh, sorry. Excessively color. This is the search engine in China. Okay. The Google, the blue one, the same. The fonts is the same. The bar, the location is the same. Yeah. Then we go to Google.com. You go to the. Uh, Teamwen.com. Yep. These are kinds of DNS poisoning. And like uh, use um, points in the Sung file, use, use the packet ingestion. And another issue is about the root server issues. As, especially for me, in, uh, I tried to connect to some China proxy in, uh, in uh, proxy servers in Hong Kong or even I traveled to China. When I go to Facebook, actually we solve, we solve the IP66. Point two two zero one one three five one five one five three one five three and one one five is correct one. However, you find it here the ninety three point forty six point eight m eight nine actually is a false one. I mean, it's not exists. They do this kind of DNS poisoning. There's a root server in the internet. However, there's a news um, just in March. It's about when you go to the YouTube, Facebook, and the Twitter. You redirect to the servers in China, and also like um, after talking about DNS server, we are talking about China product. Okay, China made product is great, right? <laughs> you find the SMT server, SMTP server. You find it. There's a withholding policy. Oops, the policy here, right? Okay. And there's a, also like how to an audit email, audit emails. Then you could audit the username. And also like the administrator could audit the email, right? And got the usernames. Right? Very good filtering. And of the keywords, yeah, you put any keywords as you like. This is my first time to find a server, SMT server, with this powerful censorship ability, capability. And some basic UDP and TCP weapon, like uh, TCP traffic and UDP session hijacking and connection time and reset. This I will not go through, this is basic TCP handshaking, right? Just handshaking. However, when I would like to do kinds of um, Go to this website, appleday.com.hk, um, it is blocked in China. Once I, I visit them, they provide feedback me different resets here. Resets, resets, resets my connection. 
and go to the it is a, a type in the Chinese. It's about 1989 democracy campaign in Chinese. Then I got more resets. <laughs> yeah, powerful resets. That's a research paper about the how to identify forged resets packet. And go to a Shanghai. I go to the expo, the Royal Expo. It's a long queue. Anyone go to the China Expo? Wow, great. You need to have a queuing up or have a wheelchair. Then you could have a fast expressway into the <laughs> in the expo at museum. Okay, and I tried it, Facebook, Google Surfaces, and Twitter, YouTube. I can't go there, but you can only get reset. Oh, this is the site. Actually, you could check whether your site is blocked in China. However, this site is blocked in China. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's guess GFW. No, not BMW. Okay, it's a Greek firewall. This is a GFW um, diagram, but not, not officially. It's guessed by the bloggers. However, these diagrams are put in the individual uh, researchers uh, in China. But they put it like that. However, they put, I mean, they put off in a few days. They've got a bad list, content filtering system, keyword list, okay, and also permanent bad list. Okay. And there's a many, I mean, it's a very daily backlist. There's uh, many human resources to spend on the time and to filter to, to find the sensitive words. QQ, do you know what is QQ? Like MSN and like, uh, like uh, uh, ICQ. However, very interesting. There's a uh, news from, uh, from the internet, I got it, that's, that once you install the QQ in a previous version, then it scans your machine. Yeah, if it's an antivirus capability, maybe. You scan your executable and scan your document to see whether any embedded shell code. I don't know, <laughs> but simply they put it like that. Scan all of stuff. Yeah, good scanner. And also, it's a Skype. It's customized by Chinese, lead by Tom.com. Actually, it's in the Tom.Skype.com. Tom.com has a specialized, specialized edition of the Skype. If you want censorship, please go there, download it, <laughs> install it. You enjoy the keyword filtering. Yeah, and uh, there are many 47 million registered users in China using Tom's Skype. Okay, however, they changed the code. The Tom to come change the code without the authorization from Skype. The Skype CEO comes to here and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, we don't know they changed the code." And also, it's like uh, another advanced censorship. Upgrade your software. Actually, another news is about a Beijing uh, some kind of people for human rights. However, when he logs to log, try to log into the QQ and find that there's a box like. Please upgrade your QQ. However, his fails to log in with in his machine and with this one account, but there's no upgrade request. It's quite on one to one monitoring customer surface. <laughs> this is a phishing for censorship, right? Asking for the person for upgrade. However, the target's friend log in again. No, no such upgrade prom. Hopefully I would I will not get it. An ultimate censorship weapon. Is the 7-Eleven um, Korean store like the staff there to monitor the blog, monitor the forums in 10 seconds, a few minutes? If we talk about some sensitive thing, then we will be moved. Quite efficient, right? And this is what we are talking about sensitive words. Um, when you and when you talk when you type in this this uh, Chinese word means um, commemorative. This word is blog. Because um, maybe near the time of some sensitive period for the government, we call these sensitive words. So this is a trendy China language. When when the, your language, maybe your message is broke, it will place with these sensitive words. Then some China um, netizen make a joke with the government, like "I love Beijing." Actually, this word is Tin Amen. Then then broke it up. <laughs> then they put a sensitive word. I love Beijing sensitive words. Some wises add sensitive words. Our great leader, sensitive words, guiding our community to progress. <laughs> <laughs> and another joke is uh, like uh, the, the China growth, 6.4%, but it is bulk, the 6.4. <laughs> okay, green dam. Okay. Sometimes uh, this is the one I like a lot because I, I do the reverse engineering the, uh, in, the, I mean, in Hong Kong about to, to know how it works. And about filtering back contents for the youth, like the sex and, and some bad co violence content. 
and however, um, some exploits found and cooks are suspected from, um, oh, I have not did, cyber cyber, cyber city. Yep. However, the China government will, uh, would like to install it, but it is banned. Okay, I put the baby face, I test it. It's nude and broke. <laughs> I put, uh, up here, I'm sorry. I hear, you find it. I put uh, some wordings about 64, uh, 4th, uh, 4th of June, then it is, I waited like in the look pad, it's bulk and cubed. Yeah. I put the chairman here and, and he said, it is an inappropriate pictures. <laughs> why? Why scan, why censor our China chairman? And also, why censor our communist logo? <laughs> and said, this is um, a, a bad pictures you highlight here. <laughs> and also, I do some kind of um, very uh, simple US engineering to find it. Uh, there's a loss of the executable they are monitoring. Right. QQ is there. Yeah, different executables. Email, look pet. The most rich is about uh, when you go to this um, internet cafe, then you need to register your name. Okay? And also the RPv6 will identify the location and address of the information of, the, of the, those lettuces. And another project is about uh, a Reps Chamber, pro Reps Chamber project. Uh, actually, it's an open project for how to bypass the GFW in China. And it is it applies to, uh, to refer to the, to the Paper research paper about uh, ins uh, insertion invention and the of surface, and it's very good for that. They could manipulate the research paper and to do some work. Then, what is the theory on that? Be behind that is the send a free uh, uh, thin packet from the client to server, and the GFW believes the client has end the connection. Then the server will load the thin, and the packet sent from the clients will not be monitored by the GFW. Another this another point is the client send an arc packet with incorrect sequence number to the server, and server replies with RST packet to the client, and GFW is cheat, and also is the server has terminated. The connection it stops the monitoring and censorship. Okay? It's very good. I, I love this kind of research and application. <coughs> can re load the reset packets and sense by server is no longer affected by the GFW. And set up the GFW and DNS reply fingerprint. If there's a, the fingerprint is um, posted by the GFW, we simply filter, filtering out, right? At the normal, GF, um, normal DNS reply will not be affected. This is the, I mean, the diagram, the flow. Yeah. We like that. <laughs> These are pictures captured from uh, our local newspaper. Yeah, you'll find it's a battleship. <laughs> And thank you to um, this Japanese uh, Atel star because I uh, there's a news about in uh, in the April in 2010, and actually he go to the Twitter. You could at him at her right now, and mo man, there's uh, over 40,000 netizens would like to go to Twitter and by try to bypass them to bypass firewall at on that night. So if there are Atel star, radio star, much maybe helpful to the but helpful to education rather than I'm. Yeah. Stand on the stage to talk about bypassing censorship or working on censorship. Now, like a summary, then you do a censorship. Sometimes you are more like to increase the workload, okay? You increase the resources a lot. It may not solve the problem. And the, my summary is encourage research to inspire, I mean, the creativity, creativity. And other countries may have the, I mean, the cens censorship strategy, but we need to have a balance between the privacy and the censorship and build up the business opportunities like the VPN. Most of the Ch Chinese in business there is work on the um, VPN service, I mean the VPN connection for in the company. Okay, it's tricks part. Thank you. So be before you get started here, Jake, why don't we uh, throw out one of these guys. Oh, yeah, what, sure. Anthony, you want to describe what, what the hell this is? Um, this is uh, a horse. But this horse is with a very great zoom in piece, this one. This, uh, because this horse is called Cholima. It's a grass wood horse. Which is it? In, uh, in China, there's a, 